There will be no end to the joy, my love. We will stand together as the stars sweep the cullen, rounding the morning. The bright new morning of the tender heart. And where we sing, the song will be a fine one. And where we dance, our stars will never fail. Tap the spring of life, of love and laughter, timeless as stars, the wheeling, circling stars that dance and sing and sing and dance and there will be no end to the joy. The function of the Father of the Bride speech is simply to welcome the guests, um, to thank the, the groom's family and then say a few words about the bride herself uh, without embarrassing her because it's a special day. <laughs> Listen, I'm standing too close. I wouldn't dare. So wherever Jenny goes, she seems to return with an ever-growing list of friends and acquaintances. <laughs> Her love of seeing new places and meeting new people includes a sense of humour. Her love of dance too. And all of this as a big sister, Jenny was exemplary and a best role model you could ask for. Her hard work ethic, her growing emotional intelligence, her organisational skills, her focus, her sense of justice, as well as a sense of humour, all add up to an inspirational human being. Ali, on the other hand, was the streetwise skater boy, drummer in the rock band. If streetwise is even a thing in Ochterard, it's only got one street. <laughs> so it's already 12 years, and it was a privilege to watch them growing up together from fighting over hair straighteners, and they did fight over hair straighteners. <laughs> Essie's dissertations, job hunting, house hunting, and recently guinea pig management. Jenny and Alistair, you stand before your family and friends. Soon you will make the promises that celebrate the love that you feel and the relationship you have created. Today, Jenny and Alistair will make their vows to each other, symbolising their commitment to each other by exchanging rings. These words and gestures are a statement to all of us here that they have found such love and happiness with each other that they want to share the rest of their lives together. So I invite you all to turn your hearts and your thoughts to Jenny and Alistair as they prepare to make their vows to each other and celebrate their love and commitment. Little did I know when we met, first met at a friend's party 13 years ago that Okay, okay. Okay, take your time. Take your time. Okay. <laughs> that I'd met my best friend and partner for life. I'm so thankful today and every day for your love, and I'm so happy that we are standing here by each other's sides today. I promise to love you and reciprocate the kindness and care you show me every day. I promise to support your hopes, aspirations, and love you just as you are. I promise to carry you through the days. Okay, take your time. <laughs> Promise to carry you through the days that you may find it hard to carry yourself. I will be your home, support you and stand by your side through all that life has in store. I vow to try and make you smile every day, bring fun to the little things in life and try my best to remember to clap whenever you play Neil Young on guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to be your loving wife for the rest of my life. Jen, I can't tell you how much joy it brings me to be standing here asking you to be my wife. From just kids, we've grown together, become stronger with every day, closer. I can't tell you what the future will bring for us, but I can promise that as long as I have you, I will look forward to every day knowing I get to wake up to my best friend. I promise to be there for you, support you and stand by you with unwavering commitment through whatever challenges life throws our way. I promise to always get up and dance with you, whether to celebrate or to cheer you up when you're feeling down. I promise to always listen to you, respect you, and never try and change the wonderful person you are. But most of all, I promise to love you, unconditionally, and with all my heart for the rest of my days. You've made me the happiest man I could ever be. 
and I can't wait to continue our journey through this life that I'm so privileged to be able to share with you. Jenny, I give you this ring to wear, to wear as a reminder of my love for you. And we might just let Jenny pop it on. There we go. And the same for you, Jamie, okay? Just pop it on his finger halfway. There we go. And then repeat after me. Alistair, I give you this ring. Alistair, I give you this ring. To wear as a reminder. To wear as a reminder. Of my love for you. Of my love for you. So Jenny and Alistair, you have made your vows to each other and you've symbolised your commitment by giving and receiving rings. You have made these promises today to each other in the presence of a loving God, surrounded by the love and blessing of your family and friends. And it is a great privilege to pronounce that you are now husband and wife. You can now kiss your bride, Alistair. I've known Ali and Jen for over 10 years, and I'm sure you agree, agree with me when I say we've all been waiting on this day for a long time. <laughs> um, when I think of the perfect couple, I, my mind always goes to Ali and Jen, and I can't imagine two people better suited for each other. Um, I think everyone would agree with me when I say I love you both, and I wish you a lifetime of happiness. Um, and if you could all help me in raising a glass to Ali and Jen. Well done, Ed. Well done. <laughs> I was gonna um, try and be quite cool up here, make a couple of jokes and that sort of thing. But Jen turned up, she made me cry in front of all my friends. So I'm a little wounded, my street cred's in the gutter. So, but something I won't joke about is how happy I am to be married to Jen. And it's just such a fantastic day. And your presence here just makes the whole thing that much sweeter. And uh, I'd like to raise a glass to everybody. Hello. Say thank you very much for coming. And have a good night. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.